Hello everyone, today I'm continuing our Mach 4 basic series and we'll be talking about work offsets. Work offsets or fixture offsets are one way to take your operation to the next level and make your process a whole lot easier. A work offset is a positional shift in your work coordinates. It's calculated based on your home position, so it's incredibly important to have a reliable homing procedure. For more information on homing, check out my previous video on homing and soft limits. You can have multiple work offsets using G54 through G59. G54 is the default work offset and the one you'll most commonly use. Your work offset is modal and it remains active until it's changed. Work offsets can be used in a lot of different ways. You might use several work offsets to cut duplicate parts. You would use G54 for the first part, then G55 for the second, G56 for the third, and so on. The work offset also allows you to cut the same G-code file on each piece by shifting the work coordinate system a set amount. You could also use work offsets to cut different sides of your stock. For instance, I could use G54 to cut the front of a board, G55 to cut the side in another spot on my table, and G56 to cut the top edge. By shifting your work coordinates, you can use the space you have available on your table more efficiently. The first step in this process is to home the machine. This is very important as referencing the axis sets up the machine coordinate system we will be using. All of the behind the scenes math that Mach 4 does for you when you're using work offsets is going to be based on where we home our machine right now. Now let's move into position. Since this is a shared machine here at the shop, we're going to leave G54 alone as politely requested in Sharpie and use G55. After jogging into position, we're going to find the corner of my stock and use some math to move to the center. When I created this G-code file, I chose the center as my origin. Now I could just eyeball it or use a ruler or measuring tape to carefully find the center of my piece, but I'm going to show you how to find the corner using your tool as an edge finder instead. Enter the diameter of your tool here and then select your work offset above. To start with, we're going to be using G55. The status bar below will give us an update and you'll also see the mode has changed here. Since work offsets are modal, we'll remain in G55 until we actively change to another work offset. When we find the edge of our piece on the Y positive side, we can click Set Y positive. Moving to the X negative edge, we can set that too. Notice the DROs have changed. Now we can use MDI to go to X0, Y0, which should be the corner of the stock. Mach 4 has once again saved me some math homework by figuring out where the corner is based on those two edges we found. Since my origin is actually the center of my stock and not the corner, that's where I need to zero out my axes. I know the dimensions of my stock are 13 and 1 8 and X and 3 and 5 16 and Y, so my center will be at X 6.562 and Y negative 1.656. Now it's back to the offsets tab to make some changes in G55. If we click set center, our current position will be set to the center. That makes sense, right? And if you notice, the DROs have also changed to X0 and Y0, which is exactly what we wanted. Now we can load up our G-code file and make some quick edits that will allow us to cut two signs from one file using our work offsets, which we're not quite finished setting up. The first thing I'm going to change is the work offset we'll be using. Since G54 is the default work offset, that's the one our post processor used. Changing that to G55 will allow us to begin cutting from the position we just set up in Mach 4. Now double checking here that we replaced all G54s with G55s, and it looks like we're good. Save changes and the regenerated toolpath should look a lot better. This is where the fun part begins. We've got our G55 all set up to cut the first part, and now we can set up G56 to cut the second part, which is going to be an exact duplicate. Since both pieces are the same size and lied up on their X negative side, we only need to find and set the new Y value for our G56 work offset. We know each part is 3 and 5 16 tall on the Y axis. Adding in the width of the ruler, our two center positions should be 4.656 inches apart. I used MDI to move into position and then selected G56 and set my center for that work offset. Next I'm going to do a quick test using MDI to make sure my two center points are where I'd like them to be. Since each piece uses its own work offset, we have to use G55 and G56 to dictate which one we're going to be using on each line. Otherwise, we would stay in the last work offset used. If you're not sure which work offset you're currently using, you can look at the bottom of the screen here. You'll notice this setting change as we go through the MDI commands. The last thing we need to do before we start cutting is edit the G-code file to include the second part that we'll be doing. What I'm doing here is copying the G-code and pasting it to the bottom of the file. Then I need to go back and delete the extra stuff that I don't need in the second section. 
that would be the notes that include info on the cut and the line that determines the modal states we're in. Since that line is already included at the top of the file, we don't need it in here a second time. We do, however, need to change our work offset to G56. With our work offsets ready to go and our G code file adjusted, we can cut two duplicate pieces. If you had more pieces to cut, you could add them in the work offsets as long as you remember to edit your G code accordingly. Now let's review. A work offset is a positional shift in your work coordinates. In order to use work offsets, you must home your machine as accurately as possible. G54 is the default work offset. Your work offsets are modal and will remain in effect until you change them. You can set your work offsets using the Offsets tab, MDI commands, or the Fixture Offset table, as shown here. The values entered in the Offsets table are the distance from your home position in machine coordinates. Now, stay safe, be creative, and as always, happy CNCing!